Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing amazing. Today I'm bringing you a quick review of the new Warframe Augment. The latest update just arrived on PC and it comes with an Augment for Equinox, Masa, Naja, and Ivara. So without wasting your time, let's go ahead and take a look at this wonderful and amazing Augment. So the first one is going to be for Naja. It's called Ripping Chakram. When you cast your ability, each enemy that you hit will increase your damage in your healing by two times now i'm not sure if this will increase the use of this ability but i must say you can deal some intense damage with a crowded room so i guess that is a great thing i just wish you're able to stack this and are able to reserve it for your next cast because let's be honest when you gather a lot of those charges together it is always going to be a great thing if you can store it up and use it on the next cast. Maybe D will make some changes and some tweaks to it in the future, I don't know. Now the great thing about this is that it also has the fact that it passes through enemies. So I guess that is a great thing, you don't have to worry about it bouncing backwards. So you can throw it and it will pass through all of them. And you can also use it for a great escape. Next we have Concentrated Arrow for Ivara. This is for the Artemis bow and what it does is it combines all your arrows into one. So you don't have to worry about tilting the bow for a lineup. It gives you a bonus of 50% critical chance on headshots and also has an electric explosion when you get a headshot. That explosion has a 7 meter radius and we stun every enemy in range. It deals intense damage but the trade off to this ability to this augment is the fact that it completely removes your punch through and for a lot of you who use Artemis bow I'm sure that that punch through is what a lot of you were looking for. Now I will also say to counter this you can go ahead and remove your punch through mods and add an extra crit or damage mod. Now I've also seen people use Ivar for Eidolon hunts but I'm also curious to see how this will work you know since all the abilities have been gathered into just one arrow instead of seven arrows so this can be a great thing for a focus shot. Great thing, if any one of you ever tried it, please let me know how it feels and how it works down below. I would love to find out more about that. Now up next we have Mazha's Waltz. This is one ability that is basically like a McCree Soldier 76 combo. Peacemaker will be able to move at 50% speed of your original speed. The radius of the target will still be getting smaller, so that hasn't changed. But with some speed mods, you can improve the experience. Now, if you love playing Masad, this means you don't have to stand in one spot anymore. You can just move around and get a lot of those shots. Now, a lot of people already hate Masad because she clears the room and doesn't leave anything to kill for some people. However, I think this will even make it a whole lot crazier. But you know what? It's the it's Warframe. You know, it, it doesn't really matter about kills most of the time. It's all a matter of getting the job done. Everyone gets the affinity and everyone gets to go home with some really cool points. However, let me know what you guys think about this augment in particular, if you use Mesa a lot. Now, the last one of the augment is going to be for Equinox, and this augment is called Energy Transfer. This is basically an answer to a lot of prayers. With Energy Transfer, you don't have to lose all your charges when you change from, from night to day or from day to night. Personally, I think it should be included in the frame instead of an augment. This is something that could have been included in a rework or the frame at the very beginning. But you know what? It's here so we can only thank D for it. Now, sometimes you get into an emergency situation when you need health more than you need damage or you need damage more than you need health. This way you can kill enemies with a slash prox and heal the entire squad or yourself with a result. And I think that is a really great thing to have because let's just be honest, sometimes you don't want to have to switch between forms and then you lose all your charges. So what do you guys think about all these augments? Which one are you excited for? Personally, I think all of them are awesome except the Blazing Chakram Augment. I haven't really found a real reason to use that ability, but let me know what you guys think about it. If you play with Naja a lot and you think you can find a really great use for that augment, let me know as well down below. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope this video was informative. And if it was, feel free to leave a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more Warframe. And as always, it is DS signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one.